Salut tout le monde, what's up? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you are all doing well today, mate. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily series right here on Football Therapy, where I go across football news media, see what's said about the Blues, present it into a package for you guys, giving you my opinion, but hey, more importantly, asking for yours. Chelsea have officially announced all the shirt numbers, the squad kits. Squad kits, is that the right term? Anyway, player numbers. Oh god. Shirt numbers for certain players. All the new signings, the superstars have been assigned their kit numbers and I'm going to tell you them today which is great. I also want to talk about what journalist Matt Law had to say about Chelsea's transfer business still to come in this transfer window which is mad how it's not finished yet when he was guesting on the Chelsea podcast the London is Blue podcast. Very positive stuff indeed. He says Chelsea will go in for Declan Rice this summer. Madness. So settle in and get comfortable. Make sure you subscribe to Football Therapy and drop a like on the video, please. Hashtag road to 100k mad. But hey, do you want to watch free Champions League and Europa League game qualifiers? Ooh, then you should check out my sponsor, OneFootball. Yes, of course, OneFootball gives you absolutely everything you need to know regarding the beautiful game, fixtures, scores, lineups, statistics, transfer news, etc, etc. But now, OneFootball are also showing selected games, European qualifiers, on the app. The app is free, you get all that good gear I told you about for free anyway, but now you get even more. So click the link in the top of the description to do yourself the favour and check out one football. Alright then, let's get into it. So before we talk about what Matt Law said about Declan Rice and Eduardo Mandi, let's talk about squad numbers. That's right, Chelsea have officially announced who gets what out of the new boys, and a couple of them are, well to be honest, they're all relatively predictable. Let's start off with the big man, the talismanic Captain America himself, Christian Pulisic, and yes, he has secured the number 10. The American absolutely deserves this iconic shirt, once worn by Eden Hazard and temporarily <laughs> taken care of by William. He was talismanic for us last season, he exploded onto the scene. Uh, I think he had a better debut season than Eden Hazard had for Chelsea at the same age. He looks incredible, he looks like he's got such an immaculate drive, he's going to get better and better. And to be honest, I couldn't think of a better player to wear the number 10. We know hudson Doy wanted it at one point, but he was unlikely to get it You know, at this point. You could make a case for maybe Ziyech or Havertz, but it doesn't really suit them. It absolutely does suit superstar Christian Pulisic and I for one am very happy for him that he's got this shirt. So big up yourself Captain America and let's move on to Chelsea's first signing of this transfer window. Actually the, the transfer window hadn't even opened yet but Hakim Ziyech. Now Christian Pulisic is wearing the number 10, his number 22 will be passed along to Hakim Ziyech and to be honest that's pretty cool, it's a good number, it's a relatively iconic number, it's gone from Willian to Pulisic to Ziyech, attacking wide players, it's a well-known number at Chelsea and it makes a lot of sense. So the Wizard of Amsterdam turned Wizard of London will be playing on the right wing slash number 10 position for Chelsea next season, sporting the number 22 on his back and I for one am happy about that. Chelsea's new gunman, Timo Werner, he will be wearing the number 11, which makes a lot of sense for Timo Werner. And of course, the number 11 was worn by Chelsea's recently departed Pedro Rodriguez. So of course, it is vacant and Timo Werner will be very happy to receive the number 11. Makes a lot of sense. It's a well-known number. It really does all the shifting, changing of the guard, like these iconic Chelsea numbers going to the new superstars. It really does. It is like new generation Chelsea, changing of the guard, incredible scenes, Timo Werner wearing the number 11. So Chelsea's new Germanic star boy Kai Havertz, absolute world class talent man, he will be wearing the number 29, of course this was his number at Bayer Leverkusen, he arrived at Chelsea, it's Tamori's number but Tamori's looking likely to go out on loan and Kai Havertz has contacted him asking if he can wear the number 29, to which Tamori said 
Yes, bro. For the moment, Tamori will be registered with the number 14 shirt, which I'm sure he has no problem with at all as things move on. Chilly B, Ben Chilwell will be wearing the number 21. Of course, you could imagine had Alonso not been at the club or been sold, he might take the number tw uh, 23, the number three, but Alonso still wearing the number three. So Ben Chilwell takes the number 21 and will be wearing that on his back next season. And big man Thiago Silva. He gets a pretty dope, iconic number two. He gets the number six going into next season. Very excited to see number six in our back line, hopefully rallying the troops, the defense, calming everyone down, and hopefully just generally Chelsea defending better. Hopefully. <laughs> so there you are, that are the squad numbers for our new signings going into this season, which starts I was going to say this weekend, but it's Monday, isn't it? It's so annoying how it's Monday. But could Chelsea not be done yet? I did listen to the London's Blue podcast. My American friends, I recommend said podcast. They had journalist Matt Lauron, who they've had on before, who's very well connected to Chelsea Football Club. And it was a very interesting listen. And I want to talk about some of the stuff he said. Most notably, how Chelsea don't see themselves as done in this window. They feel perhaps like... They wanted to get Kai Havertz over the line a lot quicker than they did. In the end, negotiations went out probably a bit too long. But still, there's plenty of time left in this transfer window. And Chelsea do have designs to sign two more players. Technically, they've signed like six or seven. So <laughs> high profile players in there as well. So the fact how they want to add two more first team players, one of a very high profile as well, is pretty incredible. First up, they do want a goalkeeper. They want Edouard Mendy. Of course, Petr Cech and Lollichon, very well connected to French football and Rennes because, you know, Petr Cech was bought from Rennes. And they're looking at Edouard Mendy, who's pretty much been a late bloomer in his career. He's 28, but the last couple of seasons he's had in goal in France, it's been very, very good. Now, I think Chelsea admire him for some of his physical attributes. Very, very tall, very long reach, very good at claiming balls. Something that Chelsea has been very poor at this last season, and probably longer than that. It's not really Kepa's strength, probably the last two seasons. He will be someone that if Chelsea feel weak on set pieces and need to dominate more in the box, he will come in and do that pretty much. And it looks like this deal will happen and Chelsea are very happy for that to happen. Whether he's going to come and immediately displace Kepa, I'm not so sure. I think Chelsea are very happy to keep Kepa at Chelsea for another year, like, as in not loaning or selling, and seeing what he can do. Apparently Frank Lampard has sympathies towards Kepa in terms of his emotional time in the last year, how he had a breakup. I think Frank still does believe in him, but sees he's been playing poorly. And you've got to be brutal, so there can be empathy, compassion, but at the same time, you've got to win football matches, so in comes Edouard Mandi, probably. Also, Matt Law talks about if Chelsea can, they will go all in for Declan Rice this summer. Now, that's a mad one because he would command such an incredible amount of money, even if West Ham are looking for a bit of cash. They don't want to sell him. He's talismanic. He won't force a move away from West Ham, although he'd love to come back to Chelsea, the boyhood club, an exciting project, uh, you know, top echelons of the Premier League, more wages. Because he has a closeness to West Ham, he won't force a move. He often captains the side when Mark Noble's not on the pitch. He probably would be the captain for the next 10 years if he stays, do you know what I mean? But Chelsea want him. They want his general footballing ability, but they want his attitude and his commanding presence in this long-term Frank Lampard project. Certainly Lampard really, really wants him. It's very, very interesting because apparently it did seem for a while they definitely wanted to play him at centre-back, but had if they do achieve this transfer, this window, Matt Law speculates that they might actually deploy him in central defensive midfield, um, not necessarily in place of Kante or Jorginho, but looking for better midfield combinations to see what Declan Rice's presence is like in midfield and how Chelsea play. Apparently, Matt Law goes on to say in this uh, episode, when he watches Chelsea recently behind closed doors, I've never seen Chelsea play in an empty stadium. He says they're such a quiet team, and especially midfield, no one talks in midfield. Of course, you think of like Kante, Cover, etc. 
Declan Rice would bring that, he'd be a commanding presence, he'd be a leader, he could slot into centre back, he'd be a perfect signing for Chelsea. And even if perhaps they can't get him this summer because he'd demand too much money, they would absolutely go straight back in for him next summer, provided Frank Lampard is the coach of Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> Incredible, really. They could still sign Mandy and Declan Rice if feasible. But anyway, what do you guys think? I'm keen to hear it. Get down into the comment section below and express yourselves on Mandy, Declan Rice, the squad numbers. I want to hear it, so go comment down below. Please do drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you're new. And a quick moment to let you guys know that I'm streaming on Twitch most days in the evening, twitch.tv forward slash Yan's Yard. Do go check it out because it's loads of fun. I'm playing football manager. I'm going to play the new FIFA, manage and build Chelsea teams. Come help me out. Twitch.tv forward slash Yan's Yard. Other than that, I'm out. So look after yourselves. Enjoy the football. Peace. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'm going to get it how I'm living. I'm going to walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me back